Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new trigger for the car handguns made by Galloway Precision called the Gallo Glass Short Stroke Trigger. It's a flat face trigger that is said to reduce trigger travel by 10%. It won't necessarily reduce the trigger weight, but it will reduce the trigger travel. And so I found out they were working on it. I made contact with them a couple months back and said I was extremely interested and I thought many of the viewers of this channel would be interested. So they were kind enough to send me this. It is an early production. And what I mean by that is that this will work well with some of the older models. They said there were some slight adjustments with the sear in the newer models and they are fine tuning that for the newer models and i said well i've got an older car cm9 i can throw it in there now i've had this for a long time probably nine or ten years when i found out the car arms was producing a less expensive model of the pm9 same size and weight and everything else i ran to the gun store to get it and i've been very happy with it ever since it's been extremely reliable and for a period of time i, I carried it every day it's got a six and a half pound trigger pull and the reset is almost a full position double action only very common with the car handguns now the pm9 same thing six and a half pound trigger full reset all right now a lot of people will say well what's the difference between those two well, you know, you're looking at some different engraving, little different slide cuts in there. All the parts are made from bar, bar stock steel with the, the P series. And, um, you know, polygonal uh, rifled barrel with the P series, conventional rifling here. They both perform great. And if somebody were to hand these to me and I, I didn't know which was which, I would not be able to guess the right one. But we're going to put it in this one here. I do want to show you, though, because a lot of people say, you know, the car triggers are heavy. Well, six and a half pounds is not that heavy. If you look at this, we will see. Well, that's actually uh, six and a quarter pounds. We'll see if the camera is going to focus on that. Six and a quarter pounds. Let's do that again, just for fun. I, I measure them right around six and a half pounds pretty pretty standard and right there six and a half pounds couldn't be any more precise than that so let's go ahead and throw the gallo glass short stroke trigger on the car cm9 and come back and show you what it looks and feels like on this model as you can see i've got the galloway precision short stroke trigger installed on the car cm9 it was a little difficult if you watch the instructional video from Galloway Precision they'll say you know they'll show you that the last step is a little more difficult than and it was but it's installed now and it's a pretty nice trigger it's a flat face trigger we could do a little comparison with the car PM9 here and see the differences maybe we'll take a look over here you can see that's a little bit thinner and it's rounded as where this is flat it actually decreases the trigger weight about a half pound so my initial intro to this video i showed this at six and a half pounds and I, I measured that on the car pistols pretty consistently but now i am measuring six pounds which i didn't think would happen so we're going to check that out right now and you can see right there if that's focusing sometimes i'm learning that it's not focusing but it's at six pounds Right there, couldn't be more clear. So it did drop a half pound on the trigger weight. But the stroke itself, they say it's about a 10% difference, and that may be true. I'm, I'm not an expert on that. But the one thing that I'm a little bit concerned, and you may have noticed right there, is that the trigger didn't reset all the way. Now, I, you know, if I if I pull it like this and then you know, I let up on the trigger, it doesn't fully reset. It will reset 100% of the time like that. But when I review a gun, I go like this, and then I slowly show the trigger reset. This doesn't go to a full reset. I think once live firing, it'll be fine. That's just my thought, because when live firing, the slide just, you know, it goes back much faster and quicker than what I'm demonstrating right now. So... 
I think it'll be fine. What I'm going to do is take it to an indoor range and do a function test with it and see how this performs when live firing. My thoughts is that it's going to be fine, but if not, I'm going to show that it, it's not working well. But if it does, I'm also going to show that, which is the fairest way to review anything, don't you think? But there it is. All right, about a half pound lighter, a little shorter stroke, flat. One thing I noticed is that, the, you know, that little lip down there, your finger does rest a little bit lower on the trigger compared to this one here where it kind of stays in the middle, all right? But I think Galloway Precision did a nice job. Be on the lookout for a function test range review forthcoming, and we'll see how this Gallo Glass Trigger performs. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.